What's up guys and welcome back to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and today I want to be continuing on by checking out more battle mode action. Now if you didn't see the first episode, we tried out the very first battle mode, uh, uh, mode, I guess, and of course which was balloon battle. Today we'll be trying out a different one, but which character should I play? If you guys don't know, I'm trying old Mario Kart 8 characters here on the battle mode part of the series and then on the racing part of the series is where I'm trying new characters. So I think I'll try my favorite character of all time, which of course has to be Lemmy. So well, maybe favorite Mario Kart 8 character of all time. Oh, that's a cool looking one. Oh, there's a lot of cool motorcycles. I haven't really tried too many motorcycles, so I gotta give it a shot. Which wheels, oh, those wheels look rad. Those ones look a little silly. The, the big wheels look cool with this one. Oh, that looks so awesome. But I'm gonna go ahead and try with this because that's pretty cool. And we will stick with this. I think that's gonna be a good combo. But yeah, we're gonna be trying Renegade Roundup today, and we will do the same thing we did last time, which is four rounds. I think they're gonna be two minutes each. That should be good, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, we're trying Woohoo Town, which I don't know what Woohoo Town is from. I think it might be like a like a Wii U game. Right, like I think it's like one of the Wii me spar or party resorts or something. I don't know, but this is actually a team required game. Like you cannot do this at, on your own, like, you know, balloon battle. It's really weird. I guess a good comparison would be Cops and Robbers. So basically, if you haven't played Cops and Robbers before, which is like, I think that might be a video game as well, but like I'm talking about like, you know, it's a game you would play on the playground as well. Basically, you're trying to just do what I just did there. I just caught somebody. Oh, I just caught somebody else. Okay. So I'm trying to catch somebody with my what's it called here, and they get put in a jail cell. And the only way that they can get out of that jail cell, as you can see on the bottom of the screen there, is that somebody has to let them out on their team, of course. So our goal is to keep as many people in that cell as possible, and their goal is to you know release each other so that they're all free. So right now there are two people in the cells, um, and it's really, really weird. It's super cool, but also really weird. So I figure we'll do two rounds being the, the piranha plants, I guess the, Non-renegades, come on, come on, gotcha! Okay, did we win? Oh no, oh, I think I saw what we did there. We got everybody caught. Okay, so I actually caught three renegades, which is very cool, that was a quick round. Holy cow, okay, we'll go ahead and move on to the next map though. Ooh, Luigi's Mansion, I love the original DS racing map of Luigi's Mansion, so this should be cool. And apparently it's from GameCube? Like, I guess it was this, there was a battle mode for GameCube and I had this map, I'm going to assume. So, oh, do we not get to choose whether? Oh, dodge the law, so we are a renegade now. Okay then, so I don't get the control of that. But now we get a little bit of a mixture in. So yeah, if the characters on the top right are highlighted, that means they haven't been jailed. And I guess the goal is just to survive for the next two minutes or as long as possible. Now the problem, oh gosh, look at that dodge! Holy cow, whoa! Okay, it's also very, very weird to see blue piranha plants. But that was weird to see. Oh gosh, so I'm still on the red team then, correct? Yeah, so I gotta be careful. Oh my, I gotta be really careful. What? No, oh, okay, you're on my team. <laughs> no, don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me, where are you? <laughs> this is so scary. I think this is also one of the brand new modes that's ever been in a Mario Kart before. All right, I'm gonna plop that behind me. Maybe I can get a few people, I don't really know. It's really hard to tell what's going on though. Like It's, it's a, a little wild, at the least. Okay, are you turning around for me? I don't think you are. I gotta be careful. Oh, that hit me square in the face. Okay, I gotta be real careful there. Ready, set, catch. Oh, I got you with that. Okay, that's good. Uh, I don't see anybody. Gonna hope, and I really wanna use this feather to go to use and just hop right over one of those guys. I'm gonna go ahead and jump down here. Oh, I get the little speed boost for it too. There's a prana person down there. Whoa, there's stuff everywhere. But we're actually doing really well. We're, we're doing a good game of keep away. Also, I need to remember, I keep forgetting to do it. If I find a cage, what? Okay, I gotta watch out. Oh gosh, I really gotta watch out. If I find the cage, I need to try to unlock my friends, like this one right here. Now it does look like there's actually people in here, so if I hit that, they're released. Oh, that is so cool. I just wasted that. But it does give me a little speed boost. Oh, I was the last one. Oh no, they caught us all. Darn. So it looks like we did lose. I don't know, oh, so this is, my counter is for teammate sprung. So I sprung one teammate there. I sort of forgot to do that part, but still very cool. Okay, now this map looks awesome. It is Battle Course 1 from the Super Nintendo, which I didn't even know the Super Nintendo version had a battle mode. 
Like I like I gotta say, like the Super Nintendo version is probably one of my favorite versions of Mario Kart because it's just so classic and fun to play, and it's simple, and I really appreciate that. And I didn't even realize I had a battle mode. I just forgot about it. But honestly, the Renegade Roundup is actually really quick in terms of rounds so far because, of course, it can end sooner than two minutes. You know, like with the balloon battle, like it was probably at the least going to be two minutes or it's always gonna be two minutes because that's just when the timer ran on. That was just how the game worked. But here it can actually be less time than that if we capture everybody right away. But if as long as like one person can survive, then they're, you know, the game keeps going. But it's when all of them get caught. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to hit you. I really missed some of that. Okay, now I'm gonna get you. Oh, I gotta turn on and get you if I can. But definitely I gotta use abilities to my, you know, benefit by hitting some people. All right, so there's a lot of people. Oh, somebody opened the cell already though. So I think somebody just drove by me. It's actually really hard to keep up. Oh yeah, look at that skill shot. That was pretty good. That was really stinking good. I do want to say also thank you guys so much for your support on this series. I didn't really know how well I was going to do because I haven't played a game like Mario Kart on the channel for a little while. Like I mean, I played a little bit of Little Big Planet Karting, but that was like back in like 2013 for the most part. Oh man, we're doing good. So we got a minute left though. We don't have too much time. Can I hit Pink Goldie? How dare you? There you go, get you. You gotta get really close to him at times. Where can I find? I also gotta remember to pay attention to the map a little bit more because I am definitely failing to do that. But they actually might get their first defensive win because just about everybody is out of the um, the cell right now. And we only got 40 seconds to go. We still got a few people to catch. Ready, set, Whoop! Yeah, got you, that was cool. The items you can use in this mode, like the way you use them is so much different you know, than your typical racing like idea. Because you don't want to, you know, get in front of them. You actually want to be able to meet up with them, essentially. <laughs> and you could hop over some of these barriers and sneak up on them. And I'm guessing they they added the flower back to battle mode simply for this one. And I actually didn't even realize that person wasn't on my team. We still don't have all of them captured. Oh, look at you with your fancy moves over here, Morton. Oh gosh. Oh no, Morton was caught. I'm just gonna start throwing fireballs wherever I can. And it looks like we lost. So we've won one and we've lost two. But look at that, I got eight points that round. Akitu was the big player there. Well, was bringing seven different players, crazy stuff. So this is the one everyone's talking about. It is the Urchin Underpass map. I really wish it would turn this into an actual racing track. Like imagine being able to ride on the highway above us. You know, like that is so cool, that would be really cool. But maybe at some point, not, not yet, but at some point I can really only help some. So it looks like, of course, we're dodging the law this time. So we've done two and two, which is pretty good. I like the good mix of it, but this is gonna be something that's gonna be so fun to play online. And that's something I wanna ask you guys. Once the game comes out, I think tomorrow, which is, I'm so dumb. <laughs> I totally forgot already. Also, there's special Splatoon coins. They don't look like your average Mario Kart coins. So now I get to chill out in the cell and hope that somebody saves me. This is an interesting situation. Oh, I'm free! Yay! <laughs> I gotta be careful though, because there are blue piranha plants out to get me. Ow. Ow, 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 no, don't just immediately catch me again! Please don't! I didn't even get, I didn't get a moment of freedom before I got thrown back in. They try, you try to get out and they just punch you back in! That is not a good start, but they do have custom Splatoon coins, you can see them on the bottom up. Hi, Koopa Trooper! Oh boy. Oh, I'm gone. No, come on! Are you kidding me? I just wanna get an item. Okay, and I get a speed boost, which I'm like not, prepared for and it just launches me into the blue guys and there's only one cell this time which I think is a big issue. Like sometimes it seems like they have more than one cell. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Now I'm like getting really scared because I know they're coming up on me. Cause I just, I don't appreciate that like you get a boost that's sort of awkward, but we are still surviving. While I've gotten caught a ton of times, it doesn't matter how many times I get caught if there are teammates you know, available to not get caught. Oh boy, I'm throwing fireballs everywhere I can. Oh no, I gotta pay attention to the map. It's really hard to figure out where I am because there's just so many people but just moving in different directions. Oh geez, um, oh no, there's somebody coming this way? Oh no, they're not. So I can actually chill out up here and, and wait. Oh no, but the problem, do you see that? Is that if a character gets out of the line of sight, a blue character, I can't see them on the map. Oh no, I didn't know that that's actually a nice touch. I wanna go ahead and try to Get nice and ready. Wait, you opened the cell, but I didn't get loud. Okay, maybe there was more than one cell that time. But there are four people we might actually win. No thanks to me. This was an awful round, but you know what? If that's what we got, that's what we got. Finish. Wow. Okay, that was funny. I did nothing there. I sprung no teammates. 
I just got caught over and over again. I was that guy in the team where I just did nothing. But two for two, we won two, we lost two. Seems like a pretty nice mix to me. So who won, who lost? It was a draw, two to two. Very cool though, I mean, I like it. It's a fun game mode. Like if anything, I, I really like Balloon Battle so far, but that was really unique. And I could see that with a party of people being a ton of fun. So I wanted to ask this question before I got interrupted a lot, but when you get the game, if you're getting the game, let me know and you play online, what are you gonna go play online first? Are you gonna be playing against people racing, trying to get your VR that way? Or are you gonna be focusing on battle mode and try to be the best battler in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe? I'd love to hear. But for right now, I think that's gonna be it. Stay tuned to tomorrow because once Friday hits, I'll be able to upload as much Mario Kart 8 as I want. I won't be limited to a time restriction, so that'll be awesome. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give this video a like, share it with your friends and family, and of course, comment in the comment section below. If you watch this part of video, make sure you comment Renegade Zebra so now you've watched in the video and that you are a Zebra-tastic viewer. By the way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.